our first afternoon round at the Rookery. And unfortunately, there was another gentleman that joined our threesome that didn't inform me until later in the round that he wanted to be left off the recording. So you will see some blurring going on in the rest of this round. Dave and Dave both start off with nice drives on one, and I decided to step up and hit a blocked out drive to the right. Unfortunately as well, with having somebody who didn't want to be recorded, we were also rushed along pretty uh, frequently, so there's a couple times where I missed a couple shots that I wasn't able to record. I had a rough start, and we ended up with a double bogey on the first. A three putt nonetheless, on and three and three. The second hole is a short par three that shouldn't have been very difficult. Dave blocked one out to the right again. Dave stepped up and hit a nice shot. I think a little far left, but made great contact. And then I duffed one 30 yards in front of me. I was hoping that the practice that I've done with my wedges would help me in this round. Early on, I did not feel that would be the case. I ended up leaving this one about 10 yards short. You don't want to be putting for four on a par three. The lovely chip in by Dave and just pathetic air fives by myself. Unnecessary. Like I said, the gentleman that joined us did not want to be on the camera, so I tried to blur him out the best I could. The third hole, this is where I felt the round could have turned around. I hemmed and hawed for a while. It's a short par four. I was going to take three iron, and I thought it would be the safe play. After seeing Dave put one out to the right and Dave step up and absolutely smash one into the trees, they convinced me that I should just go for it. And I absolutely destroyed it. Perfect drive. I was incredibly pleased with myself. I couldn't believe that it, that it ended up where it was. Ended up 10, 15 feet behind the hole. A tap in three is something that can really turn it around. So you can turn around from horrible to good in a heartbeat. Four followed up being another short par four that I just couldn't justify laying up on. Unfortunately, the wind was in too, so I really didn't have an opportunity to make it to the green, but... I couldn't not, I don't know. Thanks on the course, Joe. Could not. This is where my wedges started picking up for this round. There's a lip out. I don't think I've lipped out before. <laughs> a little tapping birdie. So back-to-back -back tapping birdies. Five is a dog leg to the left that I decided to hit a fade over the trees instead of drawing, but I did stay short of the trap. I've been dealing with some major struggles with my wedges, specifically my 50 degree, where I was trying not to hit it. Should have hit it there, but just felt horrible with it. Another lip out. Short wedges felt really good yep. today, and it helped me keep my round in check. 
tap and birdie or par. David been working on a swing this week. No, you're not the father. You're gonna be out by that trap. Day stepped up and made a nice strike. Ended up a little bit left, but overall, just a well struck ball. I stepped up and hit one of my best drives of the day. It just happened to be through the fairway and to the left on a dog leg right par five. Well, I thought it was going to be okay. It looked like it ended up pretty nicely just through the fairway but when I got up there I had to take a drop here was in the flowers tried to punch out and caught it too cleanly ended up hitting the cart path and flew through the fairway a nice little duff 10 feet in front of me here and then look at the athleticism right up that hill Clubbed up about 150 yards away, ended up taking an 8 iron, taking just the worst practice swing. And then really catching it. But again, just pure athleticism going up that hill. Ended up going through the green. Right here, we hear a four call, and the ball comes flying through. I couldn't catch it on the camera. But a ball landed between our fourth and Dave. And I'm just trying to explain to them that I did hear a four call, but it was just a horrible tee shot from somebody. Felt pretty good about the chip. Not so much about this putt though. I do have to say I didn't have too many three putts, which saved my score. I mean, you, you purposely came across that to stay out of the water. I mean, that, that looks like the old Dave swing. That's all that looks like. A couple of well-struck balls for both Dave and Dave. I ended up taking a three iron just to put something in play to give myself an approach and try to stay out of the water on the right. Gave myself 160 in and I took an 8 iron and just super quick through every ball that I've been playing. Seemed to be pulling it to the left. Here I ended up having to cut out the two pitch shots that I made into this position. And a putt for bogey. Leaving myself this long of a putt for bogey is never a great uh, recipe for low scores. Put it out of frame, but was happy with the finish here to give myself a double and not go anything higher. Dave's got this Scotty Scheffler uh, leg kick going on. Yeah, see, I said it there too. He ended up hitting a lot of draws today, and it really kept him consistent. At this point, Dave has just reverted completely back to his former swing coming across it, but he still puts himself in play almost every time. The consistency is incredible. Myself, I pipe this drive. I've just set up for a fade that I'm not hitting for some reason. Ended up in the left-hand side in the rough knuckleball 50 degree and put myself in a decent position to make birdie. As with much of the round, I didn't make my butt. I really struggled with these 10 to 15 foot butts, but the tap in is always welcome. The final hole on the front is a pretty short par three. I tried to take a set 52 and just ease it in there and just 
eased it too much and ended up in the sand. Hosled one right out of the sand and put it on the back of the green for this part, but decent speed, but still again a bogey on nine sound great. Dave just pipes a beautiful draw right down the middle to start the back. I follow up with just blocking one out to the right again. No draw. Well struck though. Ended up in the rough on the right hand side of the fairway. And proceeded to tow another iron. chunky wedge up to about 30 feet for the par with a putt that I thought I had crushed but ended up with beautiful speed so that tells you what I know for the tap and bogey Dave pipe one down the middle This Dave also piped one down the middle. And then I proceed to push one so far right it doesn't deserve a tracer. Far right! I don't remember that hole, it's six, 15. All right, so you bounce, you're left of the cart. Hurry up and set up my tripod in the other fairway to get this as people were coming down. <laughs> Chunked one over that tree in front of me into the sand. Honestly, not bad. I'm, a, I'm okay with that. This putt's for par. And just like pretty much every other putt today, I left it short. Again, tapping bogey is going to produce a pretty consistent score. Dave hit his first, what I would call, bad drive of the day on this hole. It's same kick, Scotty Shuffler kick, same power, just pulled it a little to the left. Went safe here, took the three iron off the tee, put something in play to give myself 125 in, and my dreaded 50 degree. And that's why I have the mental yips with this club. Put myself in long rough on the right hand side of the green and just never gave myself a chance. No spin on this, just came out super fast with this long putt for par that just kept rolling. Another double on the scorecard. This drive I struck incredibly well, just ended up left. Only about 2.30 in, and I absolutely crushed this hybrid. I just pulled it due left into the cornfields. Took a drop, hitting four. What's up, Dave? At Dave, into the sun. Gave myself about 25, 20, 25 feet for the par. Again, I thought when I struck this, I absolutely killed it, and it ended up being a foot from the hole. So, again, shows what I know about my pace. Dave concedes that to me for the six. 15's a par three that I struck this five iron well. It just never, never had a chance. Started it out right, faded right, ended up underneath the tree. Could not get any spin on this. Too much distance. Again, look at that kind of athlete. Just an athlete. Off the green, putting for par. Trying to get my pace here. Then 
leaving it short. Pretty much the theme of the day. A tapping bogey. And more than a tapping. But a putt that I need to make every time in for bogey. On the next par three, I refuse to hit a 50 degree. Even though I should have. I muscled up on a 52 and got it there to give myself a great birdie chance. And again, could not convert. The speed was really good. I have to give myself credit. My speed is usually horrible, and today it was fairly decent. Give myself good two putts. 16, we're racing against the sun at this point. I'm trying to get in before seven o'clock when the carts are due. I pipe a drive down the middle, leave myself 160 yards. Eight iron, easy eight to about eight feet. I make my first birdie of the day since the back-to-backs on the par fours. Making an eight footer like this is just something that I need to do more consistently to give myself a chance at scoring. Here's another example of us rushing along. I didn't get to set up my camera for the tee shot. A par three here that I put to 20 feet and then proceed to three putt. Final hole of the day, 18. Pipe a drive down the middle. Ended up having to lay up because the group ahead of us was still on the green, so took an eight iron, left it short. Left it short of the sand, luckily. And hit a 56 degree, 100 yards to 15 feet. Was very happy with it. Can't tell, I struck it very well though. 15, 20 feet here for birdie. Just like the rest of the day, I left it short. And my tap in there for my par. It ended up with an 84 on the day. Overall, the rookery is a nice course. Could have shot better and left a lot of scoring out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we begin to show you more and more of the public golf courses around Maryland, mainly around Baltimore. My name's Joe and this is Be More Golf.